Hey folks, Bo Sivas here, welcome back. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to New Atlantis. I'm gonna look into selling the Starborn ship. I don't know if you can sell it or not, but I was gonna check that out. And uh, he's gonna get some credits and all that stuff. So we go shopping, because he's gonna settle in in this system. So he'll need to fit in with everybody if he's wearing all that nice armor from Starborn, uh, to me, emotionally, he won't be fitting in. He, he knows what's going on, but he's got to play it off like he doesn't know what's going on because he wants to, you know, settle in this universe, at least for now. So let's see what happens. If it gives me one of them all hit ones, I may have to do that. Like uh, I had with Cora. I, I checked it. I have access to inventory and stuff, so. We'll see what happens when I get to the lodge. We, uh, we're going to attempt to scan you for contraband. Please comply. Uh, pretty please. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Please enjoy. I've never sold a ship, so I don't know what the process is. It's going to be a learning process for me. know if you can sell the Starborn ship. I don't see why not. Does it take standard? Uh, you know what? We'll figure it out. I'm sure you can find something you like. It's only worth eight thousand two hundred two. See if I can sell it. You cannot sell your home ship. So I need to change. My home ship. Oops. Ah, dang it. Still the wrong button. I played this how many hours now? <laughs> Alright, we're going to make the Frontier the home ship. Can't remember, is that how you do that? make this your home ship. You have to do it through him? I can't place the manufacturer of your... Okay, no problem. Ah. Alright, so the frontier. Uh, 
I'm sure you can find something you like. Oh. All right, here we go. That ship cannot be sold at that time. So is it taking up a ship spot? Uh, I wonder when you can sell it. Because to me, it's kind of a worthless ship. I can't. It doesn't have a bed. It doesn't have nothing. Oh, well. We'll figure that out later. He's going to be in a little bit of a hurry to get to the lodge. United Colonies Research Facility. Since he's made his decision. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Head to the left. Head to the left, bud. Oh, pardon me. Full armor, but I don't like the ratty cloak around it. All the holes and stuff in it. But he needs to... He needs to fit in. I wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. There's a bunch of little quests around here that I didn't do. I think uh, it's time to do them. Depends on what uh, new start it gives me, though. Normal. Excuse me, this is a private. Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? Right. I'm going to repeat the Bane quest. Hmm. Interesting. You want this rock breaker in our organization? After getting lost the first time? But he still showed up, didn't he? Isn't persistence a signature trait for an explorer? We're at the beginning of a very important discovery here. What you found on Vectera, the artifact, there's more. And they're creating something we don't understand yet. If you're serious about wanting to be a part of this, then you have to know that we are diving headfirst into the unknown. There could be considerable risks. You really don't know anything about the artifacts? 
We probably know as much as you do at this point. As you can see, they're forming something now that we have multiple pieces. What it is, we'll have to find out together. Well, I'm ready. Let's find out what these artifacts are. Good. We'll set you up with a room. Take some time to meet everyone. Then, when you're ready, you and I will be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. drop by. He left a note for you. Here. That was pretty quick. I haven't even talked to my parents. Curious feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. Now, from my understanding, there's some different dialogue options. So, from the very first place. So, let's we'll see what happens. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I have been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. What's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. What kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. You think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Perfectly healthy as far back as I can remember. Hmm. I'll take your word on that. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. 
But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Goodbye. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same Another reason. Another round of invoices. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure well, anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. Themselves. You've done That's something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological oh, scholar by trade, but now, well, I'm just an explorer like you. Builder. It's really good to have you with us. Your sparkling These artifacts the all came out of caves? The just a bonus. second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. What do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. You think this was a religious experience? Not necessarily, no, but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. All I know is I've never experienced anything like it. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Take care of yourself. Take note. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. This vision I saw, what do you think it was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon, Barrett saw something, too? He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Whatever I saw and heard, it wasn't coming from me. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. 
be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, what else do we do besides uh, looking for artifacts? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Let me know if I can help you learn more. Well, right now nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Organic stuff. Got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Sarah also said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. When's the last time you went up to see Vladimir? I haven't needed to go up there in a bit. Why? Oh, I just don't know how he does it. Up there all alone for so long. Some people love that kind of space. Pun intended. You got something for me? Your mom dropped by. We had a nice chat. She uh, left this note for you. <laughs> I don't... Okay. How long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever. More than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Stay safe, okay? I guess she ain't gonna give me the tour. Don't really need it, but... Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Outpost development? What do you mean? The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. What kind of advanced structures can I the scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. Sounds useful. I'll try it next time I touch down on the planet. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. 
How long have you been part of Constellation? I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. You miss Barrett? My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. Thinking Barrett must have been quite the challenge. Barrett has, thus far, survived the <coughs> mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. Well, I could use you on my crew, Vasco. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Go see what weapons are down here. He has nothing. Greetings, Walter Stroud. How may I assist you? It's an EM weapon. Uh, sell it. I used EM. I tried EM weapons. I don't care for them. Not going to loot everything, but I know where some credit chips and stuff are. And... I have things I missed the first time I went through this. Pause the video and read that if you want. Nope. Never if there are any more credit chips laying around. I've been through this a few different times. It's hard to remember everything. I'm not going to... Pick up all the decos around here I can to sell. So I'm not going to be that desperate for credits to start. Like during the NG Plus run.
Right, and you can say pause and read that. I've been through that in all those rooms, yeah. Books will give you landmarks and things to go visit, so if you want to read them, you can pause them. I quit saying that. Plus they will fetch some credits. Right, I think that's all the rooms. I don't think there's any credit chips laying around here, but uh, Alright, I'm going to pause it here for you guys because all I'm going to do is run around and do some shopping and use an outfit and a new spacesuit. Yes, that is very nice stat wise, but like I said earlier, he needs to immersively fit in. And he, he won't do that wearing this suit. So I will mercifully pause it right here so you're not having a shop with me and you'll see the end product when I'm done. All right, after that pause, nothing special for his clothes. Got him a haircut. And I wasn't able, I didn't have enough uh, credits to get a new suit, so I'm going to be in a starboard suit for a little while longer. And but I did get him a weapon. The weapons that were in constellation weren't what, what, what I wanted, but a suppressed advanced Razorback. I spent a lot. I spent most of his money on that. And I don't have a whole lot of ammo, so I'm going to have to, we're gonna, you know, have to go to places or do some quests around some of the, like, little fetch quests around at, at New Atlantis to get some cash. But nobody, only one vendor had ammo for it. So, anyway, so, uh, I'm going to have to 
maybe do a little questing or do a little scanning to build up some cash. But I think the first thing we're going to do is open up is grab Sarah and we're going to go uh, do the beginning quest for the main quest. So it opens up Vladimir so he will buy the planet scans because he pays the most. So we're going to do that first. Why is Noel in oh, here? Oh, your father visited. He seemed desperate or excited to find you. He left this note. Another one? Okay. You can grab Sarah. We'll go visit the parents first. for a little jog. Not supposed to run indoors, but... Let me get a power set, just in case I actually remember to use it. We'll do shield. I'm listening. Far away, he's going to get up. It's a bad doctor. Maybe from this chair. Hey. There we go. So, are you ready to get to work? <coughs> or was there something else? Well, what is Constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides... Having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. What do you know about the artifact? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Good. Chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. <laughs> I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. You and me until we get the artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. <laughs> so long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. 
Understood. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I think that trim up that tree a little bit. There's a mod out there that increases walking speed. But what I read about it was it increases everybody's walking speed. I just want my character's walking speed to be increased a little bit. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Seems like there's even more colorful outfits. as members of the United Colonies Navy? I do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra.
Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? What's the Vanguard? United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. We're off to Sidonia, then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Let's just go active. Yeah. I've gotten so used to the starboard ship now and the way my other frontier handled it. Probably Captain, gonna be. It is pleasant to see you. A little screwy on this. Do you, Captain? Yeah, the handle is good. This is 
Get out this launch pad, Sarah. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. This way. That would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? Building five? Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. I don't know why they said five figures. It still doesn't tell the person how much it's going to cost. I mean, around 50,000? Fifty to ninety-nine thousand. I'd rather know an exact amount. Somebody tell me, oh, there'll be five figures to fix it. Five figures of what? to this dusty red rock. We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 we did it. Just it. has been going on about the heart of Mars again. Is she gonna give it a rest? The almost side quest I'm picking up. I'm actually gonna try and do them now. I'd like that. Before I start the NG runs. Cold beers and good atmosphere. Not much more you could ask for. I'm looking for a vanguard named Moria. Moara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. We could track him down if you know his patrol route. Uh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. And he's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I got problems. What do you say? No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? 
I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? What matters to you more, the money or Moara's life? Guess I should ask you the same question. <laughs> you paying or what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push so hard. Just need this information. You understand. Okay, I get it. I just need a second to think. All right, I'll give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Hello. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Yes, ma'am.
What happened to the Earth anyway? Why did we leave it? Uh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but... Not much. Let's see if our vanguard is there. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Cephas, he has treated us like he knows nothing. abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Okay. That looks better than what he's wearing. Got a backup weapon now, in case I run out of bullets. Sarah. 
space suit. I don't have a. I don't have a helmet for it. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Oh, it's probably crazy. All this food's just sitting out here like it's been there for hundreds of years and it's never rotted. Or it's because of the atmosphere. Food does have some benefit. It supposedly gets better when you work the food skill. Well, that was a surprise. Armor drop. Okay, that pistol's badass. I'd be able to get some spacesuits out of these guys. Hey, that's not fair. That's a shotgun. that is it's gonna be an extra weapon I'm gonna run out of bullets in this pistol oh 
Oh, my mod's not working. to reinstall the dang mod. Why is it doing that? I said my mod quit working. It was working fine before. Uh, modding can be frustrating sometimes. It worked during the NG Plus run. some stuff back here. Oh, See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Man, I'll take it. for some credit.
if I needed all the med packs and stuff. Oh, that's a pill bottle. bags. It looks like there's got bodies in them. something we can use. Already got it. Mm. You know, let me get that to Sarah. Find any sign of Vanguard Moara. Keep. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. You look so much more pleasant than Lydia. Iron might be better than what she's carrying. Get tough for now. Hmm. 
grenades I got. I'm going to give her one. I'll give her one of each of those. It's probably crazy, but... He has an advanced A99. Now supposedly she'll she'll use those. Hopefully not throw them on me. Bye bye. Save here. Space helmet now. Well, Sarah's going to get that. Where'd she go? Old star yards and other abandoned stations in space are always home to something. Be on your if you have any gear you want me to haul, I'm happy to help.
Goodbye for now. down there. Oh. Starting to get sleepy. It's getting pretty late my time. from the shoot. Level seventy six. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm gonna go down. But you don't want to brave out there just shot in the head. Ow. I don't know where he 
years. Surely one of them dudes has a boost pack. God, I may still have to wear my other armor. set of other stuff. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. He's almost daring the spaces to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them. I don't remember how to get out of here. credits. Oh, 
I'm shortcut. Go when you're ready to launch. Hello. Space
It is much more comfortable inside the ship. Maybe we shouldn't stay out here for too long. Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Reaching a hostile ship and saving lives, my kind of party. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It'd be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Oh, I still don't have that. Ah, okay. Now it does. Spacesuit. I don't care about that. He's gonna look good. to you next all right I think that'll do for now um, get started in his new life in the sixth universe and uh, I get some selling and stuff done off camera and we'll pick up at the lodge at, uh, Take care, take care of each other. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.